All right, we are delving into all things fantasy today. Don't go anywhere as we get ready to delve into the world of Crystallia and the source of light. This is Book Circle Online, featuring in-depth discussion, insight, news, and commentary on all the world's leading book titles and their authors. And now, Book Circle Online. All right, welcome back, everybody. I'm your host, Katerina Kazayas. This is another edition of Book Circle Online, where, of course, we come to you with uh, very engaging, what we feel are engaging, author interviews, discussion, and all things literar literary and literal sometimes. Uh, you can find me, before we get started, across all my social media platforms, at Katerina Kazayas. Of course, you can stream Book Circle Online via podcast, as well as via our website and on YouTube. You've got to love social media. Today, though, we are here with P.M. Glazer. That's Paul Glazer, who is the author of the book we're going to be discussing today, Crystallia and the Source of Light. Mm. Welcome to the studio. Thank you, Kat. Thank you. So I'm going to have to go there, Paul, because I'm sure it's been chasing you around for 30 or 40 years. Uh, for those that may not be as familiar with Paul as others, I want to just touch on who he is and then we'll get into the book. He clearly is an author, and he has penned uh, a really wonderful, I don't want to call it a children's book. It's sort of a teenage fantasy. I, How would you I, classify I, I, it? I really tried to, uh, to write a, uh, I presumed mm. to write a classic, to okay. try to write a kind of book that you could take down from the shelf every Christmas and the family mm. could read to and with each other because there's uh, uh, there's an awful lot in the book that is valuable to people of all ages. Did you have um, sort of a Charles Dickens type of inspiration in thinking that way? You know, I don't know. Uh, I don't know. I, I think I used to love to write when I was young. Okay. And uh, uh, I had written this 15 years ago as a screenplay. Hmm. And uh, at the time, there was no technology to make the movie. Uh, it requires a mm. technology that animates the properties of light. Mm -hmm. And uh, thanks to Mr. Cameron and Avatar, that uh, seems to have... Um, been tackled. That seems to have been tackled. Sure. And so what his Avatar did for <coughs> live action animation, Costalia would take it yet another Even step further. further. Wow. And uh, so... Uh, Anyways, I wrote it as a screenplay, mm -hmm. and uh, when I realized that they didn't have the technology to make the movie, I decided to write it as a book. Okay. But I'd never written a book, so... Well, well okay, we're going to get to that in just a minute. Before we get to the writing of the book, you hadn't written a book because you had been busy uh, cultivating a, uh, a career in Hollywood. Mm-hmm. Um, you were the original, and again, I know you're probably so tired of hearing this, but we're going to have to say it. You are best known for your work as the original David Starsky, Detective David Starsky on Starsky and Hutch back yeah. in the 70s. Mm -hmm. And you also made a cameo appearance in the 2004 version, which was mm -hmm. Ben Stiller and Owen Wilson. How did it feel to come back into that role? Well, it's, you know, first of all, it's a big compliment for uh, anybody to make a movie of a show that you did. You yeah. Know, oh, yeah. It, it became rather iconic. It and did. And uh, so that was nice. And it was, you know, it was, it was a pleasure. I just worked yeah. a day on it, but we had a good time. But you had a good time. You've also done, I mean, you've done a lot of other things. I know you um, you directed, was it Running Man with Arnold Schwarzenegger? Yeah, I've directed five films. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and then done some, some appearances in television as well. Mm -hmm. Miami Vice and mm -hmm. Criminal Minds is mm -hmm. one that I read about mm -hmm. so that's fun mm -hmm. um, so that was Hollywood and that was your film career but we want to talk about what drove you to write a book well you said it was a screenplay originally 